Hey guys, and thank you so much for tuning in to my channel. My name is The Lady Designer, and this week we are going to have a look at foundation. The first and also the last time that we played foundation on the channel was actually somewhere in 2019, and it really feels like yesterday. But now foundation is already celebrating their fourth anniversary. And of course, during these four years, they have so many great updates to the game. So yeah, I just really feel like it's time to get back into the game and, and try it out and for those of you that have no idea what foundation is foundation is like this gridless laid-back medieval city building game with a focus on organic development monument construction and resource management so definitely for a simulation strategy and creative people a very fun and also relaxing game so if you're interested in this game definitely go and check it out on steam with the link in the description of this video and in the pinned message of the comment section as you can now grab the game with a 20% discount to celebrate their fourth anniversary. And obviously I wish the developers of Polymorph Games a very happy anniversary and also a very big thank you to Polymorph Games for sponsoring this video. Really do appreciate it. Now without further talking, let's go and jump into Foundation. So let's go and start a new map right over here. And uh, these were the original maps, the coastal, Flavial Hills, Mountain and Valley. But we are going for these maps because we can generate these maps right over here. And I might be going for this particular map with like a nice river and some hills around it. We can actually choose... And generate some other maps. Oh, I like this with a lot of beautiful water right over here. All right, let's just try this out. We have no mods, but there are like a lot of different mods you can download from the Steam Workshop. But we are not going to play with any mods during this short series. A new beginning after a long journey throughout the realm. Your people finally reach new lands. Your lands, territories you were asked to settle for reasons of your own. Your villagers await your command. They are eager to advise your first steps. If you require your soul, I don't think I need advice. I really did play a little bit of the tutorial to get a little bit of a hang of the, of the game. So I don't really think that, uh, that I need a really step-by-step -step guide. So now let's go and see what will be a nice area for us to start our village. Because there are a lot of different areas right over here we have a lot of big hills on this side by the way but oh, i like this this is a lot more flat there are not so many trees but if we can expand with this area then we can have like this this logs and and planks area to go on yeah i feel like this might be a good one and if I'm correct, we can we can choose another free area as soon as we, we get going right over here. So let's place your village center. Now this, oh, I really do like this, this flat area here as well. <laughs> we choose a map with hills and we go for a flat area. <laughs> That's so typically me. Okay, I do think, like, if we now look at the territories that we can buy soon... So this one is connected right over here. We can actually also go to this island, which is cool. This is my, the, the part that we have. These are probably some minerals right over here. And then right over here, look how big this flat area is. Oh, I love that. And then maybe we can also expand to, to this little island right over here. Oh, yeah. I do really like this area. Okay, so now we are going to put down a village center. And maybe we can just have our village center right over here in the, in the middle. So we can have a little town or like we're going to have some houses right over here. Or like, like the, the, the st oh wait, stone is right over here. Is there more stone on this side or only logs? I'm not entirely sure. I don't see more stones on this side either oh that's gonna be challenging <laughs> but we're gonna make this work we have berries right over here so maybe we should just put this one boom 
right over here. And now we had some villagers. Nothing to report. Perfect. Okay. We are going to start and add a lumber camp. Somewhere over here. We could have a nice area here to, to chop a lot of wood to produce planks so we can actually uh, get some trading going in the future because if we do some trading, we can get more tools because at least as far as I know in the beginning, you, you cannot produce tools. I'm not really sure if you are able to. Yeah, well, there is a production output. So at some level at this game, you are able to produce your own tools. But in the beginning, you are really relying on your neighbors to get some tools. So in order to get that, we need some planks and stuff to sell so we can actually earn some coins so having a lumber camp or maybe even two is pretty smart i think we can have a forester camp so they can replant oh wait we need to actually assign some builders uh, in a workshop the builders workshop right over here so shall we just put you mm. Where shall we put you? Oh, look, we have all kinds of new villagers. Okay, wait, accept, accept. We're just going to build the builder shop right over here. I actually don't know if I want it. Yeah, okay, let's do this. Let's do this. But we're going to have some houses right over here at some point. Okay, build. So now we can assign some builders. So we're going to have three builders and they are going to work on this lumber camp right over here. So I actually want to have another lumber camp right next to it. Here you are, lumber camp. And put this one right on the opposite side, maybe. Build. Okay. Okay. And then we are going to get a forester camp as well. You are going to uh, plant some new trees for us in this area. So the entrance is on this side. So maybe we can just put you down right next to this lumber camp. Something like that. Okay, build that one. And then we also need something to produce planks so that would be the sawmill and the sawmill could maybe go a little bit more here to the edge of the map i don't really mind that you can tell with like the the rat circle around it like this area would not be super appealing for your villagers to live it's it's like 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 normal industry so built that one I, I do feel like we should prioritize the lumber camps to make sure that we're not getting out of logs because that will be definitely an issue. So we have some stone gathering, but I don't really like to put the stone gathering right next to that. But it is the easiest way for them to get some stone. So I guess I'm just going to put this one right over here and build that one. So we need logs and tools for this building. We actually can't. Can we assign more from here? I don't think so. But we have a lot of unemployed workers. So for the time being, if we can make some more workers, I'm not really sure if that is going to work. Unable to find a house close enough to my workplace. Yes. Um, we are going to expand. I actually want to expand to two sides. I want to expand to here. Can we already do that? Yes, we have one free area to redeem. So I do think that that should be this one. So now we have two different areas. And as soon as we can, 250, we can actually do that. But I want to wait for just a little bit. And now we're going to expand to that area as well. Okay, so we need to extract stone. So we're going to select this with the, with the extraction color. And same goes for the berries. Oh, we do not have a gatherer's hut just yet. That would be this one. So we can just put this one right next to 
the berries right over here, like so. Okay, build that one. So obviously you need some berries for food. So we can actually paint a residential area where your villagers are going to build their own houses. As you can see, that's why this is not like the, the best spot. Uh, so, but we are going to build like a residential area right over here anyway. So I don't think it's, it's a super big deal. I do feel like we should actually plant a little bit of trees around here. But okay, we are going to add an area right over here. Oh, wait, not on the mountain or on the cliff. Okay, so I'm going to delete that. Oh, the lumber camp is built. Okay, wait, 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 wait. <gasps> oh, they're already starting to build. Pause, pause, pause the game. Pause the game. Can I pause the game? <laughs> it's not working. Wait, <laughs> pause, space. Oh, for some reason, it don't, did not work. Okay, I'm going to assign three woodcutters. There we go. So now you guys can... Uh, work on that oh see they're already building their houses i don't want you to build your houses just yet i want to first draw this out where i actually want your houses to be i i feel like oh gosh okay maybe just go down right over here and maybe we should just keep some land open on the other side so we're just gonna go up like that. It's very nice. Oh, wait, no, I don't. Wait, I'm going to fill this up. There is probably some minerals right over here. If we just look at the visibility. Oh, goodness, yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Well, then maybe we should use these minerals in the future because this is definitely not a spot where your, your villagers want to live. This is also a very fertile land, which is very nice. So yeah, maybe we should leave this open for like a farming area or something like that. I, I feel like that is definitely a good thing. So, okay, plan this out well. We are going to have... We're going to delete this in the corner. So they're not going to build right over there. It's, it's on the edge of the the map anyway so it, it's it's not a super big deal maybe we will fill it up later on let's just go straight and just make a make a square well actually we, we can build organically so maybe we should just fill this up a little bit on the edge and we're not going to build any industrial on, on this side so maybe this this should work maybe we can just make this nice and straight well, <laughs> kind of straight <laughs> with my mouse. <laughs> okay, this looks nice. Maybe a little bit smaller for now. If we are going to add some farms on the edge here. And now I start to doubt myself again because, I mean, if I would live here, I would love to live with my house right next to the water. That would be just super beautiful, wouldn't it? But they're already building on this side. And in order to make sure that they're not going to walk and make path everywhere, we can actually add some forbidden land right over here. And like this, this looks like a nice opening. That should not be a problem. I'm going to make this a little bit smaller. So... Just make sure that this is an area that there will there will not be walking. Not sure how big that needs to be, but if we just make sure that this is the only area they use to enter. Oh gosh, okay. I, I was hoping that <laughs> we just used my line. Oh goodness, what are you doing? <laughs> it's hot, guys. I'm I'm working with uh with. Uh, an ergonomic mouse and I th I think that makes it a little bit harder to actually create straight lines. I'm doing my best but I, I feel like with a normal mouse it would be a lot easier but I, th I think I think this is all right. Okay, residential. 
Oh, we can just, like, hug the lines here. Make this look a little bit more straight. Like that. And then fill this up. Like so. Something like that. I don't know if this is going to work, but we just, we can, we can try. Okay, with, with my keyboard, it's a little bit easier to make it straight. Okay, something like that, and then fill this up. I don't really think that they will walk here anyways. Here we cannot draw anything, so hopefully they can still enter. It looks like it, which is good. And maybe later on we can make like one... Well, well we can actually do that. I'm not sure if they are going to create any pathways already. So this, this will be an area where they are going to build all their houses. And then, can I just leave that on for just a bit so we can plan this all out? And now we can actually... Let's see. Add a market stand... Maybe we should have two markets. So one over here and one over there. The villagers are building their area right over here. So first what I want to do is build a well, which is going to be a little bit of like the center. Yeah, just put this one down right over here. Build that one. And then we're going to build a market. So we need uh, three market stands. So maybe we should just make this... Uh, I don't think there will be building houses here, but for the market, it might be smart to just draw this out a little bit. Not really sure how big the market is going to be. We can edit it later. Like for the food stall, you can uh, sell like berries and I think clothing or, or, or bread and fish in a later stage. So you do need a market stand for that or a few market stands for that so for now i'm just gonna build one over here i'm not gonna add a market tent because a market tent would actually need uh what is it cloth but i i do think that we should wait with spending that just just to be sure we have the well shall we no the lumber camp is built we have the gathering hut is built. We have three people now gathering berries. We have another uh, lumber camp. I, I think we should pause this one for just for now. And then we have the forester camp, which we actually need to make sure that we have. Oh, we actually did not select an extraction zone. Okay, pause again for just a bit again. We are going to remove all these trees right over here something like that and then later on we are also going to remove trees over there of course we can leave a few trees here and there uh we can actually just like remove these a little bit okay so this will be an extraction zone we can also have the reforestation zone and that will probably be the same area right over here more dense area okay on pause we already did have the extraction zone for, oh we have a stone oh this one is not the stone cutter is not done just yet okay we can actually go to prosperity and see if we can unlock something so we have our prosperity on four right now so this measures the village success and you can actually unlock things right over here. So we can unlock a warehouse, a bailiff office, a wooden bridge. And then if we reach 20 prosperity, then we can have like unlock farming and fishing and clothing. And uh, what else do we have? Decorations. Yes, we want that. And um, there's a lot of stuff you can unlock the bigger your village will get. And then you have like a labor so you can actually unlock like, a, a, what is that? A manor house and a market splendor package and a tavern and a tavern wall, a tavern kitchen, mining taxes. And then right over here, we have a kingdom, a military fort and a stake wall and a military fort splendor. And what do we have here? Military fort decorative, weaponsmith, 
there are so many things, but I do think that we want to go for, for the clergy pathway. And that will be that we are able to build a monastery. And that will be just super amazing because that will be so beautiful. I'm not really sure if we are able to do that anytime soon. Like, just like in real life, like building a monastery can, can take like, like so much time. <laughs> so as well as in this game, it, it will take a lot of time before you have like all the resources and stuff. But you can also uh, build like a, a church. What do we have? A hus hospitium, a rustic church, architecture, stone wall, treasury. There are so many things to unlock right over here as well. So uh, let's see how far we can get. So now let's go to our villagers because right over here, oh, we, we do not have very happy villagers. They're actually uh, quite pissed at me right now. Um, so we have berries. I'm going to give this one priority. They do not have water, so let's also give priority to dad. We have stone right over here. We actually need to unlock the warehouse so we can actually store some some resources materials goods and luxury so unlocking that was like 25 coins i think to unlock and now we have right over here we have the warehouse i do feel like the warehouse should be a little bit more in this region because this one also has like this 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 not so desirable uh, area around it. Wait, where did we build that one? Okay, so maybe just, just nearby, right over here. So we can actually maybe make two woodcutters. Something like that. And we can store the wood. Like, the stone people need to walk away a little bit further. That is definitely a thing. Oh, we have a forester camp. So we can... Oh, we... <laughs> Wait a second. Okay, we need to... Uh, get some builders on this job so we can click here and we can just okay we can just click you as a builder you are now a forester so you are going to plant some trees and we can actually select here we want to have an oak or a, a poplar or a pine or a size some more or something like that i don't really mind you can just uh just just seed all of them i, I don't really mind that there are some houses being built. The houses are so cute, especially when they upgrade. They are just so beautiful. They look really amazing. Okay, what do we have? We have two villagers being unemployed. Do we have any workspace for them already finished? This miner? We can have... Okay, wait. Yes. Okay, let's have these two builders work as a miner because we definitely need stone here as well so how is it divided right now can we just select it yes okay we have three builders three forgers oh wait four forgers and then uh, oh forester is this and then the longer they work on a certain job they will gain like levels so we have two miners we have three woodcutters they are all just super sad because we still need to make sure that we have water, food, and service. So let's see if we can we can help these guys. This one... Oh, we have a little market now. Okay, we need to assign a resource, which is going to be the berries. And then we need to assign... Um, shall we do one woodcutter? Okay, let's go for the woodcutter. You are going to work at this little market stand so the the villagers are going to be a lot happier because they can get like food pretty nearby to their house that is at least the intention of this but they still don't have any water because they're missing any stone we are working on that there is another stone so these two are working hard to to get that one done these guys are working hard to gather the berries I don't think that we should already uh, make this one work. These guys are making the sawmill so we can produce some, some planks. We also, if we want to unlock, let's see, where was that? Economy, resources, here you go, the training route. So we have Northbury, and in order to be able to trade with Northbury, 
you can unlock this trade route with 20 planks. So that is why we definitely need to get planks because, well, we, we cannot produce any tools anytime soon, but we definitely need tools to, to get our village going. So this is something that we can trade with this Northbury village for uh, seven coins. So this is definitely uh, super interesting. And later on with some clothes, you can also unlock this one with middle, middle, middle <laughs> and Davenport right over here with 20 Brad. And then right over here, we are able to, uh, to, 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 to trade these resources. Look, we need more villagers. So thank you so much for joining. Population right now is 13 villagers. And then we have the happiness of 25. The happiness is really bad. <laughs> Ensuring all villagers are assigned a job and have access to a workspace slot will benefit your economy as well as immigration. So the immigration is very low because of the happiness being super low. The, uh, the employment is high and the residential space is average. So the next wave will be incoming in three days. And before that, we need to make sure that we make our villagers super happy. So yeah, food is definitely a thing. Wait, when can we unlock? Is that, let's see, fish. Fishing requires 20 prosperity. Okay, so we are not there <laughs> yet. But as soon as we can, we can actually add, look, there, there are some fish right over here. So, so that will be just super amazing if we will be able to expand our village with that. Oh, look, the well is done. I'm going to remove the zoning a little bit for now. And we can also remove the territory boundaries for now for a little bit. Uh, nothing to report. So the villagers now have water. They now have berries. And then we have the warehouse. Is that one already built? Housing insufficient. One villager lack adequate space for housing. But we, we do have enough space for it, don't we? Residential space is quite big right over here. You might be complaining about the fact that it's not like super close right over here. Is that something we should actually work on? So if we... Okay, territory, zoning areas. Like, what if we just add a little area? Okay, wait. I'm going to... Does that work if I start with this? I want to make sure that our people are still able to walk here. I, I'm not entirely sure what that person just did, if it's still using this pathway. Now look, it's, uh, it's going around it. Are they still using this path now? Yes, okay. It is using that path. Okay, so make this a little bit thinner. And then just have one opening. Where shall we do that? I think right over here. Something like that. And then fill this with some residential. Not sure if this is going to work. Oh, I can actually see. I can paint this. Oh, shoot, that was not good. So if you start with the red, then later on you can fill it up with some residential. Would this be enough space for them to build a house because they can live closer to their jobs? Is this like, yeah, I, I understand that the desirability is pretty low here, but... It might be, is it, is it big enough? I really am not sure. Okay, maybe, maybe we should expand it just a little bit. Just make a little edge, just to make sure that they're not going to create any path through here. Reforestation is not needed. Oh, see, see, they are building a house. They are building a house. Now they would actually need a market because the market is all the way up here. So maybe just build a well and a market in this area. You see, and I use this opening right over here. So hopefully this is not going to 
interfere with our path. But if we just make a belt, build a well right over here. And then have a little market stand. Okay, wait, where can we build a market stand? Uh, because I, I hope they will be building more houses right over here. So maybe, I'm not sure if they will do it right over here. So maybe we should add a little market right over here then. So market stall. Can I move you? Yes, we can. Maybe, maybe facing that way. No, because maybe we will add another market stand. So I feel like this is a better. Yes. Okay. Build that one. At least I have one house right over here, but we might need to extract this and make this little tiny bad, tiny bit bigger. But I like that. So we can have like a little village area right over here with one or two houses. And then we have a bigger area right over here. And these people are very happy to live here. Okay, how is our happiness? Our happiness is going up. It's 45% right now. Food is still <laughs> pretty, pretty low. Okay, so let's see. Because right over here, it says a villain's aspirations. Uh, we can edit this one. And these are optional objectives that can be completed on your terms while you manage your village. And I think, as I said... I think I want to go for the dedication to clergy. So can I just select this or track? Oh, there we go. Oh, that's amazing. So we can actually have like these extra objectives to build a monastery abatral church. I don't really like that. Let's, let's just go and, and try and do this. So now we need to make sure that our, our villagers' happiness is going up a little bit more. So what else do we need? Because we still have... One villager being unemployed. So we could just check right over here. I think we can just select you on a woodcutter, actually. I don't really mind that. Is our warehouse already done? We have our sawmill completely done right now. So maybe we should. Let's see. We have builders, forgers, miners. Maybe we should just make one builder work here at the sawmill so you can produce some planks this one is still being built and we actually need planks for that so yeah that is definitely smart to do i'm going to assign another builder so we have one builder left i'm going to assign one more builder to produce some planks so hopefully we can finish that one up a lot faster we have a market stand here already so wait where is that house where is that house? You guys were building a house right over here. Maybe I did ruin a little bit right over here of the territory. Maybe it's not big enough. So the only thing I can think of is just make this a little bit bigger. So they're not going to uh, make roads everywhere. And then later on, we can definitely just make sure to build like a wall or anything like that. Look, look, look. <laughs> the house is coming back right away. But I still think that this one might be and not enough space, but just wait and see about that. So what else can we do? We can actually build a granary, which is, which is used to, for storing and trading resources of type of food, raw materials, and luxury food. I do think that we actually should build this one somewhere over here as well. Wait, this was not the granary, right? No, this was a warehouse. So we also definitely need this one somewhere over here. Is that actually maybe a good one to place right over here? It feels a little bit industrial, but yeah, it doesn't have like this, this industrial thing around it. So I think I am... Okay, this is the front. Is this the front? I think maybe right over here, next to the water, is a nice spot to build this one. Okay, so let's put this one right over here. Perfect. They are still working on this one. Do you have already enough planks? No, it doesn't look like it. Is there anything else that we missed out on building? So we're building the warehouse. We have the stone cutter, a sawmill, gathering hut. We have a well. Oh, we can actually build a rustic church. And we can build a manor house. That's our house, isn't it? 
a building in service of the village rulership by means of offices and halls. A builder workshop. Okay, so these are all the buildings. So we can... Oh, we have a newcomer. Wait. Hello. Welcome. Welcome. Okay, let's see. Where shall we put you up to work? You are right away going to have a little drink right over here. Let's see. Where can we... We can maybe select you and be a builder because we deselected the builders. So I'm going to put you up to work as a builder right now. It's still 43%. Now, it might be because we only have... Do we only have storage for 60? Yeah, storage 60 berries, I think. Can we... We do not have another spot to gather berries, can we? There actually is not that much nearby. So it is very important to unlock fishing as soon as possible how much does it cost 250 to expand but there are no berries i'm going to deselect that one just to make sure that we're not going to buy a territory accidentally but the storage is full so we definitely need to prioritize the granary to make sure that we can uh, actually store some food in there maybe that is why the villagers are so unhappy because they just cannot gather enough berries to provide food for everyone. I don't see any other spot. Or I'm missing something. But I don't see any other spot for berries. Now, as far as I can tell, this, 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 these berry bushes will never run out. So maybe it's a good idea. Unless I can... No, I cannot click this. Maybe it's a good idea to just add another gathering hut right next to this one. So we can gather some more berries. As long as we do not have any fishing huts, I do kind of feel like that might be a smart thing to do. The warehouse is done. So we can select... We, we do not have any unemployed people just yet, but we can select storage already. So we can select some wood and maybe also some planks and some stone. Okay, well, perfect. We have some newcomers, so we can actually accept these two. And then we can assign one here to be a transporter. And then we can also assign one here because the granary is now also finished. We only have berries, so just have one transporter right over here. The total capacity is 400 of the granary. And the total capacity of this one is also 400. So this is definitely going to help with storing our food and such. So we now have 34 wooden logs. We also have some planks here. We have stone... Uh, tools we definitely need to make sure that we get like this this training route going on in order to do that we need planks but we have planks already so if we now go to resources a training route we can unlock this one because we have 20 planks let's just do that right away labor prospect tire reached kingdom prospect tire reached clergy prospect tire reached the clergy has shown interest in your land new content available perfect thank you thank you thank you we have a 36 happiness here so we definitely need to work on that the immigration is now average so we should be having some more villagers coming in in one day, okay, the newcomers are already uh, approaching our village. So let's make sure that we are able to uh, to set up a training route or something like that. So let's go to resources because we really need to... Oh, we can actually also level this up. So the more you, you buy and sell, the higher this probably will go, the maximum quantity... So let's go to resources right over here. And we have some newcomers here, which is just amazing. So what we're going to do, we're going to sell planks, sell all above the value. So I think I'm going to set this to 20. So everything above that can now be sold uh, for how much is that? Planks. Where are you? Planks is for two golden coins. 
And now if we go back right over here, is there anything else that we... Oh no, we want to get some tools. So buy until inventory reaches. So I think I'm going to set this to maybe 10 tools and make sure to buy tools as much as possible because else we will get into trouble when we want to uh, continue expanding our village right over here. So let's accept you. And now let's see, what can we actually unlock right over here? We have the common path. Can we now? Oh no, we are at 15, so we are not able to unlock fishing or farming just yet, which is really a pity. We do are able to unlock the monastery. Um, are we going to do that? It's 25 coins. We do have that. A uh, rustic church splendor will unlock a stone gate, a wooden gate, a stone bell tower, and a wooden cross. Okay, let's unlock these, but we have to wait until we have 30 to be able to unlock more right over here. New advice can be heard. Hearing of your interest in building a monastery, some of the most faithful among your villagers would like to guide you on the first steps of this construction. Who will the monastery be accepting? Will accept both monks and nuns? Will accept monks? Will accept nuns? I think both. Let's just go for both. And the quest will be build a monastery that has a nun dorms and monk dorms. Build a monastery garden that has berries, planter and herb planters. Build a monastery scriptorium. Reach a population of four nuns and monks. Let's just go and, and do that. I, I feel like that is going to be very, very interesting. And I do really uh, like that challenge. Then I think this is probably a better spot for it. Okay, let's see. We can't do too much yet, but we can add a tax office, which means that we can actually uh, tax our villagers to, to pay a little bit more to live here. And that is going to help us with gathering some more coins and earning some more coins. So we need a great hall and a tax office and a treasury. The bigger the room, the more gold you can store. So let's go and build a great hall. So this one is costing four tools. 12 planks and 12 stones. We do have that, but you, you can tell already that because of the tools especially, it will not go super fast. So we can't go super crazy in the beginning, but you can edit this building as much as you want every time. So that is just a really cool feature. I do really like that. Maybe we can actually have a little garden in front of this building at some point. So maybe we should just start here in the back like that. We can raise it. We can move it. We, you can move it on later as well, if I'm correct. You can raise this a little bit. So this is already 14 planks, 14 stones and five tools. And if we want to build this one, it's 12 logs, 12 planks, five stones. Okay, let's just go for a door. I don't want to spend too much because I want it to be finished as soon as possible, I guess. Um, so I'm just going to put this one right in front of here. So this is the interactive location. This is the place where visitors patiently wait until you decide to hear them. So we're going to have that. Can we now also build... The other room or do we have to wait for that i think we first need to build this you know what i actually want to add some zoning around here so forbidden land i don't want these guys to walk through my land go away no no you are already <laughs> gosh go away you are already creating a path which i don't want i want to have an entrance right here at the front. I don't really mind this path right over here if you keep using it like that. Okay, and let's just open this up from the front only. I don't want them to, to be crossing like that. I hate it. I hate it what you did there. I <laughs> don't really like that. Go away. Shoo. See, this is a better path. Okay, there we go. Great hall is built. Okay, we can edit the building now and add a tax office. So the tax office could be like a little, little, um, a little building right over here. Maybe a wooden hall. What does a wooden hall cost? Three tools. I like that. On the edge, 
house functions for your monument, tax collector capacity is one, tax collector capacity is zero, room size is five, room size is two, but you can also add these little buildings to it. I'm just going to add it like this. I'm going to add a door on the side. And I also want to have a tower. Okay, I'm spending. I'm spending. <laughs> I'm already spending. Lady Big Spender. You guys know me. I'm going to have a little tower like that. Look how cute. Maybe just a tiny tad higher. Does that change anything with how much you need for that? Doesn't look like it. Okay, now I can't raise these a little bit higher. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, yes. Okay. Yes. And then shall we just keep the door on the side? Yeah, maybe just keep the door. Okay. <laughs> 40 planks. Well, we have that. We have enough stone. We do not have enough tools, but I think we might be able to work on that. Okay, this 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 definitely will change. Oh gosh, I hope I can change it. I thought you can change it. You can edit the building and 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 add things to it. Okay, I, I'm I'm a little bit afraid to delete it, so I'm not going to <laughs> I'm not going to click too much on that. Okay, so we have a new villager, let's accept you. And this one should also, well, they're still working on it. But I am already able to add a tax collector right over here. I, I do really like that. So now if we, I'm not entirely sure if that now unlocked already. But there should be an option to ask for taxes. But, uh, oh wait, it's right over here. So we have 24 serves and I can actually, okay, no. Oh wait, it does work, 48 a month. You can you can ask more, but I, I guess this is the green area which will make them happy. This will make them less happy. So I just wrote gold coins. Yeah, I, I, I don't really dare to do that at this point. So we have at least a little bit more income right now. Yes, the tax office is built. Look at that. That looks awesome. Oh, I really like that. That is a beautiful building already. And imagine if we are able to like build some flowers and, and fences and, and everything around it. Wait a second. Are you cutting off? Okay. Ugh, I'm not entirely happy <laughs> with this, but it is what it is, I guess. Can you now also make one over here then? <laughs> Then I, then I maybe like it a little bit more. But this is working really well. We are able to, to collect some taxes, earn some more coins right over here. So in the next episode, we are probably able to expand with a different area. And hopefully we're also able to uh, start doing some fishing and some farming and stuff. So uh, yeah, definitely exciting stuff coming up. But yeah, do let me know in the comments down below what you guys all think of a foundation. Leave a like the video if you guys enjoyed and subscribe, of course, if you haven't already and yeah if you're interested in grabbing this game yourself as i said in the beginning of this video there is a 20 percent discount right now so you can find the game with the steam link in the description of this video and in the pinned message of the comment section thank you guys so much for watching and i really hope to see you guys all in the next one which will be tomorrow on the channel so stay tuned for that thank you so much for watching bye guys